just coming down this hall observe him for the love of mockery for I know his letter will make a contract <laughs> oh, why now there here comes the trap that must be caught with tickling. <laughs> Tis but fortune, all is but fortune. Mariah once told me that. She did affect me, and I have heard her come thus close that uh, should she fancy it should be one of my complexion. Here's an overweening boom. Oh, please! Contemplation makes a rare turkey cock of him. Oh, I could so beat the rogue. Peace, I say. To be Count Malvolio. Well, there, there is example for it. The lady of the strakey married the yeoman of the wardrobe. Oh, fie on him, Jezebel! Oh, please! <laughs> Contemplation makes him... Now he's deeply in, look how imagination blows him! Having been three months married to her, sitting in my state in my branched velvet gown, having come from a daybed where I have left Olivia sleeping. <laughs> Fire! Grimstone! Calling for my kinsman Toby, Send of my people with an obedient staff, <laughs> make out for him. I frown at the while and play with my own. Some rich jewel. Toby approaches, curtsies there to me. Shall this fellow live? I hold out my hand, thus quenching my familiar smile with an austere regard of control. <laughs> saying, Cousin Toby, you must amend your drunkenness. Ouch! Gab! Nay, patience, or we break the sinews of our plot. Besides, you wasted the treasure of your time with a foolish knight. Oh, that's me, I warrant you. <laughs> <laughs> One Sir Andrew. Oh, I knew it was I. For many do call me a fool. <laughs> Employment have we here? Now is the woodcock near the gin? Who oh, peace and the spirit of humour's intimate reading aloud? By my life, this, this be my lady's hand. These be her very seas, her ewes, her teas, and thus she makes her great peas. <laughs> her seas, her ewes, and her teas. So why that? Oh! <laughs> To the unknown beloved, this, and my good wishes. To whom should this be? Oh, my olive wax. <laughs> Jove knows I love, but who? Lips do not move, no man must know. Ooh, if this should be thee, Malvolio, Oh, I may command where I adore. M O A I doth sway my life. A fustian riddle. Excellent wench, say I. <laughs> M O A I doth sway my life. No, but first, first, let me see, let me see, let me see. I may command where I adore. Oh, well, she, she may command me. <laughs> Uh, I, I serve her, she is my lady, there is, there is no obstruction in this. And at the end, what does that alphabetical position portend? If I could make it resemble something in me. M O A I M M M M M <laughs> Old Malvolio! M. Well, that letter begins my name. <coughs> but there's no consonancy in the sequel. A should follow, but O does, and I comes behind. And yet, and yet, to crush this a little, it would bow to me for all of those letters, R, 
in my name. <clears throat> Soft. Here follows prose. If this fall into thy hand, revolt. <laughs> in my stars, I am above thee. But be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. Cast thy humble slough and appear, appear fresh. The opposite with the kinsman, surly with servants. Remember who commended thy yellow stockings and wish to see thee ever cross gartered. <laughs> Go to, thou art made if thou desires to be so. If not, let me see. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> if not, let me see thee a steward still. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Farewell, she that would alter services with thee. Oh, 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 oh. Well, this, this, this is open. I do not now fool myself. For for everything excites to this. My lady loves me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thank my stars, I am happy. Oh, oh. I will be proud. Strange, stout, in yellow stockings, even with the swiftness of putting on. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Here is yet a postscript. Thou canst not choose, but know who I am. <laughs> if thou entertainest my love, let it appear in thy smiling. Thy smiles become thee well, therefore in my presence still smile, dear my sweet. Vitae with a midwife. Then, <laughs> if you will see the fruits of his spawn, mark his first approach before my lady. He will come to her in yellow stockings, <laughs> which is a colour she abhors, and cross garters, which is a fashion she detests, and he will smile at her, which being addicted to a melancholy as she is, cannot but help make him a notable contempt. <laughs> if you will see it, follow me. To the gates of Tartar! <laughs> now, most excellent girl and witch! I'll make one too! <laughs> 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 